what if time is an illusion? Wait, 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 I'm not high, I'm a physicist. So look, we all have this experience of time, and its passage feels very real. After all, when I get up in the morning, my joints pop, and that definitely didn't used to happen. But from a physics perspective, it's not really clear what time is. According to Newton, time is absolute and rigid, a substance in some sense that flows on its own accord. Einstein's theory of general relativity makes a similar claim, but it's a bit less rigid. It has a tendency to bend and warp along with space. But in Einstein's world, time still exists, at least in some sense. But quantum mechanics tells a different story, at least once you start to tie in gravity. Perhaps the most well-known way to try to promote Einstein's theory to a quantum theory is with so-called canonical quantum gravity. One of the consequences of this method, though, is that in such a quantum theory, which would in principle describe the entire universe by a single wave function, there just is no time. It doesn't exist. After all, it has to capture the entirety of space-time itself within the wave function. So how can there be time outside of it telling the wave function how to change? And so the idea is that our universe is best described by an unchanging quantum wave function, and what we experience as time is merely quantum correlations between clocks and the rest of the universe. To explain what I mean, let's imagine that there's a physicist who lives outside the quantum wave function in her own time. She would look at the wave function describing our entire universe as a static thing, never changing. But if she measured one of the clock subsystems that exists as part of the universal wave function, the clock subsystem, which originally was in a superposition state of all possible time readouts, would collapse to just a single reading on the clock. And when it does so, because the clock is entangled with the rest of the universe, the rest of the wave function would collapse too, leaving behind precisely those events that correlated with that clock state. And in fact, an experiment like this has happened before, where we were the physicist, and we were studying some toy model with some toy emergent time. Now, in reality, no one is collapsing our clock's wave functions, meaning our clocks are still in superposition. And in that case, it still makes sense to say that the universal wave function contains all events that have happened and will happen, just each event is quantumly correlated with a clock state corresponding to when it happens. That way, different events can happen at different times, while still existing in the same unchanging universal wave function. Now, what I've just described is called the page wooters mechanism, and despite how far-fetched it sounds, it's taken pretty seriously. It offers an account of why we remember the past, why time feels continuous, and more. So, is time just an illusion? Maybe, but it's a damn convincing one.